Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm really excited to do. I'm going to be testing out some indie makeup focusing on the brand Kaleidos. So I have some of their eyeshadow palettes here. I also have some of their highlights. I'm going to be swatching everything and then testing them out on my eyes and also on my face. I'm really excited to do this video, not only because I've wanted to try this brand for a while and to do this kind of first impression style video, but also because it is a collab with my friend Amy Loves Makeup. And Amy asked if I wanted to do a collab for her indie Miss is what she called it this year where she focuses all on indie makeup. I was really excited and this was one of the first videos that popped into my head because I've been wanting to do this for a while so it seemed like a great time to be able to do this as a collab with Amy. She's going to be doing another indie makeup style video on her channel today so I will link her video. I will link her channel but if you're not familiar yet with Amy Loves Makeup I hope that you will go over and check her out. She's so sweet. She's so supportive. I have met her in real life and she is the same as all of those things that I just said and she has so a love for indie makeup. She has definitely been someone who has inspired me to try different brands or try new products. She runs the account Indie Makeup Spotlight. I mention this almost every single week in my Will I Buy It video or my new makeup releases video because she runs that Instagram account where she posts and shares the new releases and the swatches and the product photos from all indie brands. So if you ever want to keep up on the indie makeup news or there's new brands that you're interested in trying out, either head to Amy's YouTube channel or head to her Instagram or the Indie Makeup Spotlight Instagram and you are going to get your knowledge. She really is an indie queen and I'm so excited to call her a friend and I'm so happy to be doing this video with her. So again, her links will be in my description box. I'm really excited to see what video she is doing for today as part of her Indie Miss. But if you wanna see how I got this eye look and trying out some Kaleidos makeup today, let's go ahead and get started. First up, I thought I could talk about the eyeshadow palettes and then we will jump into my look with them. So I have three palettes here. These were sent to me from Kaleidos Makeup and I've been really excited to try out this brand. I've heard really good things about them. I've seen other YouTube videos about them. I've seen a bunch of friends and people that I really enjoy here on YouTube talk really highly about their makeup and especially their eyeshadow palettes. I really wanted to try them out in a video. First one that I'm gonna swatch here is the Futurism 2, the Cyber Bronze Palette. It's retail for $24 and for the Cyber Bronze Palette, we have the shades Quantum, a highly advanced rosy, rosy shimmer wired with a dash of copper, infrared, a heat seeking deep maroon shimmer, plasma, a quick silver metallic with a white hot shine, Droid is a sandy caramel matte infused with Martian soil. Y2K is a smooth java brown matte from the depths of cyberspace. And Carbon is a rich elemental charcoal brown matte. Next up, I am swatching the Astro Pink palette. The shades we have Cosmos, a deep space black matte drizzled with twinkling silver glitter. Neptune, a rich aqua blue duochrome swirling with an ultraviolet glow. Nebula is a berry fuchsia matte from a galaxy far, far away. Lightyear, a cosmic beam of brilliant metallic lavender. Stardust is a dusty rose matte with a cool stellar glow and lunar is a peachy moonrise pastel matte. I'm showing you the sci-fi green palette. For the shades, we have Radioactive, a grungy amber orange matte with a soft iconic glow. Nuclear is a smoky gold metallic bursting with superheated orange. Glamora is a heroically vibrant metallic that shifts from an otherworldly green to a platinum gold. Smog is a smokestack green matte with a hint of toffee brown. ET, a deep olive green matte with an alien mystique. And Darkseid is a pitch black matte seeped in a sinister force on everything, names, I mean the description, all of that is like so above and beyond and that is so awesome. So obviously you know which palette I chose to use on my eyes today and let me go ahead and hop into that demo. All right, so the palette that I really wanted to use for my look in this video is the Futurism 1, the Sci-Fi Green palette. Yes, I decided to go with the green one. I just felt like this looked like a lot of fun. So we have some shimmers in here, we have some mattes in here, and this is what I wanted to play with. I'm going to be using some brushes from Nabla Cosmetics. So I used some products from Nabla in a previous Get Ready With Me, but I also, they sent over these brushes and I haven't used them yet. So I thought they are also an indie brand. So I thought that I could use these today for the look. So I am first picking up this matte green shade with kind of a smaller blending brush here from Nabla. This is the Precision Soft Crease. So I'm gonna start with that and I'm gonna start to work that into my crease. My first thought is that this brush feels incredibly soft oh, and that this matte shadow seems to be blending nicely. Sometimes greens can be, you know, a little tricky to work with, but 
can find some good formulas that's definitely a bonus and then i'm just going to use the same brush i'm going to pick up the next green shadow it's going to be just a little bit darker i'm going to pat some of this on the outer part of my eye kind of going back to my like comfort makeup look i talked about this in my christmas get ready with me video about um like being able to find comfort in my usual style of makeup routine and makeup techniques and i talked about like having anxiety and how sometimes having these little things that bring comfort can kind of help be calming whether it be a makeup routine whether it be watching reruns of a favorite show whether it be cooking you know your favorite recipe and you find comfort in knowing you know everything's gonna work out exactly as is because you know the ingredients and you know how much to mix and and all of those things and it was really interesting reading the comments because a lot of you could relate to that and um it that definitely helped me reading the comments because you know sometimes i say things and i'm like oh gosh you know how's the internet gonna gonna react to that but it was nice to hear the different ways that you guys are able to find comfort um and so even though i had something a little bit different like actually my first thought today was even potentially bringing in the black shade i don't know if i'm gonna do that at this moment um but i actually had a panic attack today <laughs> uh. and if you deal with panic attacks you probably know how oh just how scary they can be and how horrible they can feel and i'm still um i'm not 100 percent on my game but i'm filming this on monday and it's going up on tuesday and it's also a collab so you know can't really back out um and I have to film my willy bite after this. I'm not really sure I'm going to make it that far. That might have to be reserved for tomorrow. But I was like really looking forward to Tuesday being kind of um, not an off day for me. Because I still have a million things to do. But at least I was like at least I don't have to be on camera. And now I'm like I don't know if I can film my willy bite today. I might have to film that one tomorrow. Oh I even had a thought of like maybe I shouldn't do a green look. Because that's still... Even though I like green shadows, it is still a little bit outside of my comfort zone. And also sometimes they can be not as easy to work with. Sometimes I'm not always as confident in them. But I feel like this is going over pretty well. I feel like this side, I feel like I blend it better on this side than I did on this side. I feel like this side just looks not quite as blended. But, you know, I did it on this side. So that's just me. That's a me thing. That's not... Uh, the eyeshadow thing <laughs> but it definitely uh, was not um a great feeling and um you know it's kind of a bummer because i just know that i'll probably feel off all day today which is not great i love to start my mondays and have my mondays just be super productive i was up at 5 34 today i was like let's go i'm ready to do this the final monday of 2020 pew, pew, pew. like everything was a go and then 10 o'clock, everything was not a go. I was like, man, why? <laughs> Such a bummer. Um, I'm going to just keep moving down the line here. I'm going to pick up this shimmer with a flat shader brush from Nabla. And I'm going to use it dry first to see how it goes. Might end up spraying my brush, but we'll just try it dry first. And I'm probably won't need to wet my brush. That's fine. That's fine. That's cool. That's fine. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Okay. Like I said, I've heard so many good things about this formula. And I don't know why I do it to myself. I like really wanted to wait so I could do this video. And like try things out on camera. And then I kept putting it off and putting it off. And then I was like, Samantha, get it together. So when Amy was like, do you want to clap on an indie video? I was like, yes, I do. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I need to do this video. <laughs> I tell you, there's just, there's so many video ideas that one could do. It's kind of wild. And with YouTube, it's like, I just watched Nikki Tutorials, um, her like first episode in her YouTube original, like YouTube docu documentary, which is super interesting to watch. I'm going to be really excited to watch all the episodes. But you know what she said is like, when you do this and when this is your career and your job and your, you know, your primary focus, 
you're constantly having to evolve and change and um, sometimes it can be really challenging because sometimes it can just feel kind of exhausting like you're never doing enough or doing enough of the right thing because something's already changing and i've talked about before that when i started my blog in 09 when i started to see the shift happening to people going on youtube and other platforms i was like i don't want to do that like i know blogging i'm good at blogging my blog is successful this is what i do and i kind of had this moment of like i don't you know I don't want to do those other things so I didn't and then I think about if I would have just been like hey you have to you have to change and grow and evolve like if I was still only blogging right now I would not have this career there's no chance sometimes I have to remind myself of that but you know sometimes it just so it, it feels like a lot it feels like you're always like I truly always feel like I'm four steps behind minimum honestly I don't even really know how I got on this subject and I didn't want this to be like a really chatty part of this video I wanted to just kind of like shoop shoop show my makeup and be done with it and now I'm like duh, 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 duh. <laughs> but you know I just sometimes I just have thoughts and I like to share them um that looks insanely beautiful though I don't even okay that's cool I thought for sure I would have to like spray my brush or something but that looks great I'm just gonna come back with the blending brush I'm not gonna add any more product I'm just gonna kind of blend everything out here to my waterline i added some of my charlotte tilbury green lights pencil i used the matte side for my lower lash line i'm going to take the first green that i used and then the first matte in the palette it's kind of like kind of like a camelish brown color and i'm just using this smaller blending brush from nabla and i'm just going to kind of mix them back and forth and then smudge that on my lower lash line i feel like this is going really well I really do want to use the gold in here. I think I'm just going to use it for just like a little bit on my inner corner. Not my brow bone. I'm just going to do inner corner with a small brush. It's like these shadows are so intense. Wow. Yeah, I just want to like... And even that is just blending. Okay, I think the eyes came out really well. I know it was kind of like my simple makeup routine but I feel happy with it. And the green is just so eye-catching. <laughs> I mean, that shimmer is just like, pow, pow. So, okay. All right, I'm gonna do some mascara and then we'll come back to try the highlights. Mascara is on, eyes are complete. So to come over to the highlighters, I have a few different highlights. I'm going to swatch them all and then try one of them on. I have Laser Glazer, Comet Catcher, also Skywalker. <laughs> These names are great. And Solaire Sailor. Okay, so these retail for $14 on the website. This is what the inside of the highlights look like. Okay, fun names, super cute. So let me swatch everything and see what we're working with. This first one here is in Skywalker. Oh, that's got a blue shift to it. Almost like a blue violet. Holy bananas. Hello. Next up, I'm going to swatch Laser Glazer, which is a great name. This looks like it would go with my eye look. So this one is Laser Glazer. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sound effects are great. So this one is greeny, but when you, you see that shift, like it gets uh, like almost like pinkish. What? Next up, we have Comet Catcher. Which, you know, just like first glance looking at them, it might be like, oh, okay, you know, sure. But like, even just when you swatch them, you know that they're going to be something else. So this one has like a white base with a lot of pink to it. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Pat McGrath highlight I just used in my Christmas Get Ready With Me. That's kind of my first thought when I swatched it. And lastly, going into Solar Sailor. So again, this one kind of looks white in there, but from the swatch, it's a little bit more yellow, which would also make sense with the packaging on these. There is that final swatch. Wow. Wow. I don't even really know what to say. I feel like the first two, 
I don't know. Those are just, those are just something. I will say not a lot of these are what I would go for on my everyday. Like I love highlights, but I kind of like more of your like traditional style highlight. I don't go for these colored highlights all that often, but you know, sometimes it's fun to do something a little bit different. Okay. I feel like in keeping theme with the video, I'm going to do laser glazer, which is more of that green. It is so funny because when I first opened all of these, this was the one that I immediately said no to. I was like, nope, this one is not going to be the one for me. And now I'm like, all right, let's just give it a shot. I'm going to use it from Moda Metallics. And this is just their highlighting brush. I'm a little bit nervous. I don't do this often, but I'm like, let's just go for it. Okay. Whoa. Okay. I don't know how well my camera will pick it up but that is I mean that's that's definitely a green highlight okay so again not my like most used type of highlight color but very cool matches my eye look very well I can see several of my friends and people that I watch on YouTube pull something off like this so well me I don't I don't know so much but again Sometimes it's fun to do different things. I'm not sure how well, like I'm, I'm trying to move, I'm pretending I'm at a concert, okay? I'm pretending I'm at a concert. That's not what I look like at a concert, I swear. But, well, okay, I feel like there, right? You can see it, right? I'm like, I just don't know if you guys can see this. And normally I'd be putting highlight like on my forehead, on my nose. I don't usually do that when I'm going for green or blue type of highlights. But again, goes with my look very well. I feel like everything is really pulled together now. Uh, so that is it for the highlight and all of the swatches of the four highlighters that I have. Very cool. Do you own any of the highlights? I would love to know. Uh, I'm just going to pop on like a lip balm, I think, and then we'll come back to discuss my thoughts. All right, so I added actually just a little bit of Nablo lip liner, and it's the only thing that I used on my lips. I've been really impressed with Nablo lip liners also. Uh, but that is going to wrap it up for today's video and finally testing Kaleidos makeup. Okay, so I have to say that I'm pretty impressed off first impression. The swatches of all the palettes really did impress me. I have to say that this green palette really impressed me. I used almost every single shade in here. You know, I'm not sure how often I'm typically going to be going for that black shadow anyways, but the mattes were really smooth to blend and those shimmers were so beautiful. Like I still that inner corner, I'm like, oh my goodness. So I'm really excited to do some more looks with the other palettes. I'll definitely be doing some more with those, but I really wanted to get this video up because I've been wanting to try these products for such a long time and the eyeshadows did not disappoint. The highlighters personally are not going to be, you know, my typical preference. I'm still excited that I got to try them and I got to see them in action. Uh, and this one is still like, it's very cool. It's very fun and it's very different. And it'll be something, oh, I feel like that's it especially, right? Hi. I feel like it's something unique and different for my collection, which is always, you know, fun to have when I'm feeling in that mood. Um, but just not my like my personal go-to but again fun to have but definitely for me the standout was the palettes and especially the green palette that i had on my eyes so that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed just kind of a relaxed video trying out some indie makeup thank you so much to amy loves makeup for asking me to collab on this video please make sure to go check hers out she really is like the indie queen she has so much knowledge she tries so much makeup from these indie brands and she's just great for reviews for try-ons please make sure that you go check her out but other than that that's it for today's video if you enjoyed it please make sure to give this one a thumbs up i hope you also consider subscribing before you go and i'll see you in my next video